What's going on people? Welcome to another video. My name is Sam Chip. If you're new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button. Today we are playing Watford away. Now Watford have got their new manager, Nigel Pearson, former Leicester City manager, and Watford have gone on the up ever since. Troy Deeney back in form, Watford winning back-to-back -back games. Whereas, meanwhile, we could be potentially losing three consecutive games if we lose this one today. Tangana starting in the starting lineup. No Ericsson. No Danny Rose. The only thing I'm concerned about this starting 11 is we don't really have any holding midfielders. What am I going to predict for this game? Well, I want three points, but I can't really see it happening at the moment. We're playing away in a very tough ground. I think we could lose this one. Yeah, let's just get kickoff underway. We've got no Kane, obviously, because Kane is injured. And we're kicking off. Come on, you Spurs. Go on, Lamella. Lovely pass, Tangana. Go on, Son. Cut him. Go on, Delhi. It's going to be the same old passing the ball backwards because Watford are really putting their defensive side into it. And a good way to get that long ball across, Toby. Great long ball, that. It's Ali. Ali. Handball. That's a handball. They've got a VAR, that, surely. Now Watford are on the break. Oh, my God. Goal kick. Is it going to go to VAR? Probably not. Maybe it, will, maybe it didn't hit the hand. It looked like it did from... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. We did switch off when that whole thing about the handball was in our heads. Mmm, hand was out of his natural position. That should be a handball. It's a brilliant challenge from Tangana. Brilliant. I like him a lot. He is not afraid of challenges and he is hungry for success and hungry for starting 11. I like this guy. We need to start him way more. Great pass from Son to Lo Celso. Aurea, don't lose the ball. Don't lose the ball. Corner. Come on. Go on, take that corner. Beat the first man, but didn't get, but got straight to the keeper. Yes, Soria. Go on, Lamella. Ah, oh, rubbish shot. Very decent play and decent run, but lacking the clinical finishing once again. The shot just going well wide. You know, we are the type of team that we can have so many shots and nothing clinical happens and then from against the run of play we concede. It's very typical Tottenham. I'm very surprised by how Watford are starting. They haven't really pressed us that much. Apart from their... Um, they haven't really had many attacking opportunities apart from the build-up straight after the handball appeal. Um, just a little bit surprised to be honest. I thought Watford would be going for it way more, but we're going for it. Uh, it's clumsy defending, clumsy defending, okay. Alderweireld slightly fixing his mistake there, making up for it. Don't lose the ball, don't lose the ball, don't lose the ball, Winks! You've got to be careful! Handball! Lucky not to be sent off. Good tactical foul there, but that was risky. Lucky he's not sent off there. And like I said, Watford are now finally starting to show up. Chalaba taking the free kick. This could be bad. This could be bad. Well, that was a shit free kick. Go on, Mora. Go on, son. Go on. Good pass. Ah, oh, more with the shot. He just hits the defender's leg. Now Watford are on the break. No, they're not. Oh, that is brilliant from Tangana. That is brilliant. Oh no! Don't tell me he's injured. Kapu, former Tottenham man, just did a horrendous challenge on Tangana. Studs, that should be a red, really. Right, so VAR has concluded not only a missed 
opportunity to uh, decide a penalty. And now they're also ruling out a red card. Well, that's just shocking from VAR. Oh my God. Now there's an issue with the VAR system. That referee should be fined. What is Michael Oliver playing at? What is he playing at? He doesn't have a battery for his device that calls the VAR decisions or the communication that goes over to him. So we're wasting time by waiting for him to replace his battery. Oh! Oh my God! Another shot slash cross by Watford there. Go on, Dele. Go on, Mora. No! Come on, we still got the ball. Lost the ball. God said we should have converted that in for 1-0. Son! Blasted it straight over. Shit, shit. Oh my god, good save, Gaza. Come on, cross, 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 cross. Cross it! Cross it now! Oh. Awful cross. Oh my god. God, be careful, Tottenham. Half time. We played better, but still, there's just that few bits missing, and that's the clinical finishing because we haven't shown that at all. Better attacking advances, but still lacking the clinical finishing. We've been lucky a few times as well for Watford not getting the lead. Um, we got to show a bigger attitude in the second half coming up. Jesus, I thought that was in. Watford have been at it. Watford have started attacking since kickoff for the second half. Defend better, Tottenham. Jesus. Almost another goal. Watford are lacking the clinical finishing as well. But it wouldn't take long for them to pick that up. Jesus, Tottenham. Move. Get in front of him. Get in front of him. Watford corner. Go on, Winks. Yes, son. Oh, what is that header, Delhi? What is that header? Clinical finishing. Clinical finishing. Lacking that. Throughout this whole game, we have been lacking it. Close him. Oh, my God, Dini. Jesus Christ. Wake up. Go on, son. Ah. Oh. Go on, go on. Oh, hello. There's a huge flare up. Massive fight between Watford and Tottenham players there. But Tongan's currently on the ground. VAR, do your shit. Send the player off. Got to be a red card of all offence there. There, shoved Winks on the ground. Tries to attack him. Send him off. You can't do that. Grabbing him by the face. That's got to be a red card of all offence. What a load of shit this is. Guy should have been sent off. Absolute joke. Firstly, Kapu. And now this guy. Wow. Go on, son. Oh, f hell, son. You can't be clinical. Oh, where's the finishing, man? Where is it? Straight over the bar. There's too many Watford men that are unmarked. What are you doing? We're going to concede. We carry on at this rate, we're going to concede. A f***ing penalty! I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. What are you f***ing doing sticking your hand out like that, you f***ing idiot? Dini has scored four out of his five last penalties. That's not something you'd like to see before he takes a penalty. It's a short run up. Here comes Dini. Yes! He saved it! Get in there, Gaza! 
Gaza. What a save! Come on now, push forward. That penalty save has to be a wake up call, and we're still losing the ball. Fuck! Tottenham. Get it out! That's a throw-in! That's a throw-in! Just looking at the replay and Deli Ali getting pissed off at getting taken off. She felt I would as well if I got taken off Ericsson. So Fernandez, the guy we signed from Benfica on loan for 18 months, is coming on the pitch. He is 21 years of age and he is replacing La Celso. Now I just wonder how that's going to go. I'm s hoping he can actually perform something there. It'll be very interesting to see. Go on, Ericsson! Aurea! Ah! Four minutes added time. Aurea! No! 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 Oh! It was rolling towards the line! How is it that we not convert that in? Millimetres! Millimetres from passing the goal line! Oh my god, it's just a few more millimetres and that could have been our goal. Honestly, you couldn't get any closer. You really couldn't. Full time. Nil nil. Well, it's better than a loss, but we just gained one point out of it. One point from a team that have won back to back games. <sighs> yeah. Not really much to say from this game, really, other than at least we didn't lose. Uh, top four's looking more bleak now. It's looking more and more unlikely. Us not being clinical cost us the game. Cost us an extra two points. Not taking our chances seriously or effectively. Yeah, it just is what it is. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know... Anything else you thought about the game in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next upload.